Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into a brand new episode of Clash Royale, fresh off my Electro Wizard haircut. If you guys haven't seen the video I posted earlier today, getting the Electro Wizard haircut done, definitely go check that out in the description below. And also, you can check it out right here. Hopefully, it looks, uh, I'm at the right angle right here, but I still have it in my head. It's been around for, I guess, 24 hours now since I got it done and it still looks pretty good. I'm sleeping on one side of the pillow, so hopefully I can have it for a couple of days and only showering the front part of my hair. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain, but I'll probably keep it around until like Saturday or Sunday. And meanwhile, in honor of the Electro Wizard, we're gonna go ahead and throw it into a deck and see if we can pick up some wins. Now, this deck has been super popular. If you guys have watched me play uh, my other main deck recently, the only deck that really counters it is this uh, Electro Wizard Inferno Tower Hog Rider deck. And in honor of having Electro Wizard in my head, of course, we're gonna be playing this deck and let's see if we can pick up some wins. I haven't actually tried it yet, so I'm excited to pick it up and see if uh, maybe the lucky haircut can get it done. And of course, let's go ahead and get into it right now. Now, thanks again to everyone who voted on the haircut. Uh, it was a little bit questionable in the beginning. There were a lot of Royal Giant votes, and I actually did try to get something done for the Royal Giant, but I simply ran out of time when I was at the barber shop. I was gonna see if we could do something for it, but meanwhile, uh, things are looking okay here. Let's play our Inferno Tower to deal with this Hog Rider. And yeah, pretty easy start to the game. I haven't even played my Electro Wizard yet, but uh, we're just gonna keep throwing Goblin Barrels, keep doing our Hog Rider down the lane momentarily. Let's take some damage on that right-hand side. And it looks like this guy's just gonna be saving up right now. And here goes his Goblin Gang. So I'm just gonna log that down, get some tower damage. Uh, I was gonna play my Electro Wizard, but I sh my Skeleton Army should be able to counter this pretty decently. And meanwhile, Electro Wizard against his Princess. Let's make sure we kill her in two shots. And uh, eventually, Hog Rider is going to run down the lane right now. Who knows what it's going to be able to do. We've got Skeleton and Electro Wizard on everything madness. And Hog Rider will actually be able to get a hit on the tower. So we're slowly chipping this tower down right now. Uh, but he does have a pretty nice little thing as well. So let's play our Log plus our Goblin Gang to take that out right there. And uh, so far, yeah, this has been a pretty slow game. Lots of Goblin Gangs over and over and over again, which uh, is always fun to play against. We're going to both play Goblin Barrels. This might end up better for him just because we were a little bit busy. So a little bit of damage onto our tower. We're almost completely even, and uh, this is what happens. This deck has been so popular recently that everyone's been playing it. Uh, it doesn't take too many legendary cards. Okay, it does take three. But you can substitute out the log. You can substitute out the Electro Wizard for like the rocket, for the knight, and stuff like that. Meanwhile, let's play our princess in the very center. Make sure that he has to play something to counter it. He's going to play his own princess. That's going to take forever to deal with ours. So we're going to get a ton of damage right there. That tower's down to 712. I had to play my Electro Wizard, of course. Here goes his uh, skeleton army. So we're going to knock all of this out here. And he actually doesn't have the log. I've been wondering why he hasn't played the log yet, but it doesn't look like he actually has it. And uh, meanwhile, we can do our Hog Rider. Let's do our log as well for the prediction right there. He's going to play his own Hog Rider, and there goes his Inferno Tower. Now, I've sort of been waiting for that all game. Let's play our Electro Wizard. Predicting his Goblin placement is going to work out perfectly for us. Another Goblin Barrel over the top, and we're slowly whittling his tower down to where it's only going to be a couple more hits before we can inevitably pick up a win. Okay, so here goes everything he's got. He's got the Skeleton Army, the Goblin Gang, that should all die momentarily. Here goes his Hog Rider. We're going to take that out with our Skeleton Army. Let's play our Hog Rider again, plus our Log right here. Hopefully going to pick something up, but again, that's going to be super annoying. Another Electro Wizard on his... Oh, we missed the Electro Wizard on the Goblin Gang. That is uh, unfortunate right there. Goblin Barrel is going to go down. His Goblin Gang's going down. Princess is going to lock on. We've got the Goblins trying to take out this tower right here. We're going to be so close to killing this Princess, but in the end gonna be no cigar let's do another inferno tower for this hog rider and uh, guys this is quite the battle this is the first log we've actually played on the goblin gang so let's just have our princess in a moment shoot over the top there goes his goblin gang oh i meant goblin barrel not goblin gang on that last one he's gonna play his skeleton army we did actually end up getting a hit right there which is pretty decent for us here goes his skarmy we're gonna take that out in a moment with the electro wizard but boom and since he played that inferno tower we can't really do much just yet i'll play my princess to kill his princess Let's play our Inferno Tower, and once again, guys, this is just a battle of wits. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Let's do our Skeleton Army here, our Goblin Gang here. This should work out pretty well for us, and we're just trying to make our way in a second. Here goes our Goblin Barrel plus our Goblin Gang. I was hoping the Inferno Tower would already be dead. He's going to play another Inferno Tower, but that leaves his tower open. Woo! We're going to end up picking that win right there. We didn't have the rocket or any direct damage, which made it a little bit difficult to finish off. Plus, his Inferno Tower was difficult to deal with. But that's going to be win number one with our Electro Lucky Electro Wizard. 
holding things off for us. Let's get to battle number two against Alex. Maybe we won't have such a mirror matchup this time, and we can have a little bit of variety. Okay, let's see what we can do. Maybe we'll play against a tank. I'd really love to play against a tank to test this deck out. Uh, but starting off, we've got the Princess. I could have played it at the bridge, but he's going to play his Electro Wizard, so he's going to have to counter momentarily, or our Princess will just shoot from afar. Let's play our Goblin Gang over here to get some damage done on that tower, or at least force him to play his Zap. I'll play my Electro Wizard in a moment. He's going to play his Bandit. Uh, we're only going to be able to zap that Bandit, I think, like once. Bandit's going to eventually die. Electro Wizard, uh, that was pretty bad. Hog Rider. Ooh, Hog Rider, did you get in front? No, he didn't get in front. So instead, there goes his Minion Horde. We still will get two Hog Rider hits, plus our Princess should clean up right here. Let's go ahead and make sure that works on those Minions. And his Zap's actually going to miss right there. So the Princess going to do a nice job against that minion horde and overall we made a decent trade okay so this is turning out to be a, a pretty crazy game right here elect ice wizard i'm not too worried about as far as damage goes so i'll just play everything right here he's probably going to play oh he played his goblins instead of the zap i thought he was going to zap that and then my goblin gang could just go in for a bunch of damage but instead it's just going to be a couple of spear goblins picking off this tower right here and we've developed a couple hundred hp lead but still not feeling the best just because the elixir is not on our side, but it all depends on what Alex is playing. And so far, it looks like we're just playing a lot of these same matchups, just with the, like two or three cards different. For example, he has barbarians. And uh, all right, I'll play my Electro Wizard here. I'll play my Princess over here. This should be a decent counter. Here goes his Bandit. Let's play our Skeleton Army. His Fireball is going to go down, but I'm not too worried about the Fireball. He probably is going to zap that side. I'm also going to take that Hog Rider damage right there. Not too concerned. Let's play our Hog Rider, or no, the Barbarian damage, sorry. Let's play our Hog Rider plus our Log. I was hoping that he would play his Goblin Gang or something similar, but still the Hog Rider plus the Electro Wizard are going to take that tower down to zero. And his Ice Wizard, the Ice Wizard just doesn't feel like a good card right now, guys. It just doesn't feel like a legendary card. There's so many better options that I haven't seen a lot of people playing it effectively. Meanwhile, he's got his Bandit going down. Let's play our Electro Wizard to keep that Bandit zapped. Or actually, it does have enough speed eventually. But our Goblin Gang is going to do work. Everything will go down there. Princess onto his... Actually, we didn't even need to play that right there. But let's get ready with the Hog Rider Goblin Barrel in a moment. Try to keep some pressure going right here. Let's play everything once again. Log's going to miss the Hog Rider, but still end up connecting on those Goblins and the Ice Wizard. And so far, this game's been pretty perfect. We've just controlled the match. We've done a couple hundred damage over and over and over. Look at the Princess even shooting that Arena Tower with the splash damage right there. Princess is being such a monster. And uh, once again, we'll play our Electro Wizard. We will play our Goblin Gang, and I'm expecting a Fireball sometime soon, but guys, this should be the end of the battle. Good game against Alex right here, and woo, two and zero using this Electro Wizard Hog Rider Crazy Madness deck. We're not going to pick up the three crown, but we'll become awfully close. 1,800 HP left on that tower. Good game against Alex. All right, well done right there. A Bandit Hog Rider deck. Crazy. Bandit Hog Rider Ice Wizard deck. That was... That was sort of interesting right there. Win number two. Let's go ahead and get into battle number three if we can keep the streak going. This deck has been pretty good. Again, everyone plays this on the top. Um, like, everyone has been playing this on the top. They've been playing this deck. They've been playing another version of the Hod deck, Lava Loon, or the Graveyard deck that I've been playing. That's really all the variation I've seen recently. But other than that, things have been pretty standard. Let's play the Skeleton Army to deal with this uh, Miner right here. And overall, we made a pretty positive trade on that first little push. Plus, I think the Skeletons will reach his tower if he doesn't do anything. Okay, Electro Wizard's going to go down. Let's play our Goblin Gang onto him. That's going to chop him up to pieces and only get one zap off on this Goblin Gang. Once again, we're going to keep doing some nice damage to this tower right here. And even with this... Uh even with this Furnace right here, hopefully my Princess can do work. I'm hoping she can predict when the... Uh when Sup is going down, but instead I'll play my Electro Wizard to help out right here. He's going to play his Miner once again. And the Electro Wizard is going to get close, but no Cigar on the tower. He did log over there, so that means my Goblin Barrel is going to do good damage on his tower. And we've developed about a 600 HP lead going into the rest of this battle. Very nicely done right here. I'm pretty feeling pretty good about this battle right now. Um, I would predict a log, but I don't think... I don't know what else he's going to do, so let's do the Goblin Gang and then play our, our Furnace... Or, sorry our goblin gang our hog rider goblin gang combination i don't know how to speak right now but our hog rider just crushed that tower into pieces his furnace is even going to go down let's play our skeleton army plus our princess to help clean up this uh this miner right here that's going to go down right there minions are going to go down one minion did get missed by the princess but that's a-ok -okay. the tower's down to 644 and i was so tempted to go for the goblin barrel log because i know the skeletons are coming out wait I thought I knew the skeletons were coming out, but instead, Electro Wizard's going to be the play. And what is this dude's win condition? He hasn't really shown what he's going to use to get to my tower just yet. 
just a naked Electro Wizard running down the lane. And bro, I got the haircut. If you think you're gonna win the Electro Wizard battle when I have the haircut, I think you are strongly mistaken, my friend. Towers at 432. And let's go ahead and go once again with the Hog Rider Goblin Gang. Here we go once again. His Furnace missed the first time. This time it won't though. That Furnace is gonna do work. Hog Rider and Goblin Gang are not gonna be able to uh, do the best right there, but still it's gonna be an even trade. Seven Elixir for a seven Elixir. So I don't feel too terrible. Ooh, nice little uh, poison right there from him. So we'll play our Electro Wizard to stop these Fire Spirits. Let's play a Goblin Barrel over the top. Let's also play a Log to deal with what he's got. Log's gonna go down. His Skeletons are there, but we're gonna Electro Wizard that Talon, or that Tower right there. That's gonna be Tower number one. Let's play our Skeleton Army plus a Goblin Gang. Again, the poison spell is going to go down, but one of the spear goblins is out of range, which is going to be pretty clutch for us. And at this point, we can go however we, we can play this however we want. We can go to... Oh, my word. Since when does he have the P.E.K.K.A.? And why is it not coming over here? What the heck? I thought the P.E.K.K.A. That P.E.K.K.A. was running away from the Inferno. I guess I planted it in a weird position. But guys, this should basically be it. Log's going to go down right here. I've got the princess. My hog rider's already onto the tower. He's going to defend that tower and not even play any backup to that miner. GG well played against Ding. And guys, the luck of the Electro Wizard haircut ended up doing us pretty well in this battle. Our first three battles since coming back from the haircut using the Electro Wizard are going to be three and zero. Check out this deck if you guys haven't already. Uh, it is a pretty standard deck right now. If you don't have the Electro Wizard, um, you can throw in the Rockets. I think that's a good card you can throw in here if you don't have the princess. Or if you don't have the log, you can throw in the zap instead of the log. If you don't have the princess, it's pretty essential to this deck. So I would recommend having the princess. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. Once again, watch the Electro Wizard haircut video if you have not already. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.